Hi, we're here at CES Unveiled, and we are with the founder of Kion, uh, Kion. Whatever. Yeah, Kion. Kion. Yeah. Both words. Uh, about a dog collar. Yes. My dog has a collar. Why does it need a new collar? That's a new collar. That's a new idea. Basically, this collar. Okay. It what your do how your dog is feeling. And uh, <laughs> you will see here notifications like... Uh, I'm hot, so you let, you forgot your dog in the car. Right. The temperature, you know, might kill it. So <laughs> it yeah, will, it will feel that, or I'm cold. It will send you messages through an app here, and through the app, you can see how your little one is feeling. You know that the battery of the color is 92 percent. He's on 22 degrees right now Celsius, and he's happy. So he can tell you if he feels happy, if he feels hot, if he's comfortable, if he's not. This color communicates with you and tells you how your dog is feeling. Well, but what, what is the actual things it's giving me? It's giving me temperature? Yeah. It, it can't give me emotional state. Sure. There's about 12 sensors it will give you. First of all, it has GPS. Okay. So the moment you lose your dog, it will right. tell you exactly what it is. Not exactly only on one level, but only the floor. Maybe somebody found your dog and has it on the third floor in a building. Certainly. So it will tell you exactly where it is. Um, it will display messages that you uh, two one like, okay, I'm lost, please call 555, 705, right. whatever. Um, it has an altimeter, so it can measure the, um, uh, the height. Which right. Is. Um, it can sense if it's cold, if it's hot. Uh, there's a water sensor, so if it falls in the water and it's swimming, if it's swimming for a long time, you know, it might get drowned. So it sure. notifies you as well about uh, about drowning. Have I forgotten any, any any sensor? I think we're done. Most of them are. Yeah. We also have the pacifier, of course. I'm sorry. What do we have? The, the barking silencer. Yes. Another oh, sensor. A bark silencer? Yeah. There's an uh, ultrasonic uh, device here that the moment your dog starts barking, you press a button and the barking stops. We emit like an uh, ultrasonic sound at uh, 35 kilohertz and the barking will immediately stop. So it's not like the training collars where it puts out a little... You dog in a matter of two days. But does it, does some of the training collars put out an electrical no, shock? No, no, this, no, this, this is, a, this is sound. Ultrasonic, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. So it does a lot of things, uh, and you know, it's, it's too thin. I mean, you can see how thin it is. Oh, it's um, it's, it's a very kind of an actual collar. So this is what we went for, right? And yeah. where's my you, where's you, 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 my uh, LED readout? Yeah, this is this is a dummy one. That's the LED. Oh, it's a different model. No, it's the same model, but that's a prototype. Okay. That's a working prototype. Mm -hmm. It's one millimeter thicker than the uh, uh, the product we will release right. in three months. But to, to get the look and feel is this. All and right. Very comfortable. Yeah. And the battery in the whole circuit is inside that thing. Yeah. Does, that, it, does it recharge or do I have to replace yes, it? Yeah, that's, that's the base oh, station. Oh, that's the charging station. That's the base station. Yes. So you okay. Put, you put so how many hours do I get out of this? Uh, you get days. You, days. Uh, if your dog doesn't get lost, you might you might get up to 30 days. Okay. say from 20 to 30 days. How, well, how often do you uh, suggest recharging it? Uh, it will display. It will, you see, it does, oh, it'll just tell me. Yeah, yeah, it will tell you here and here as well. On your That's app. app. Okay. It will tell you. Oh, so you have your own app? Yeah, exactly. You can see many things. You can see how your dog is feeling. That's really happy, for example. Goes was playing all day. You can see. Um, that's my dog, so I have Charlie, I have Cody, and Pluto, and these are the colors. You can see associations, which color is connected with what dog, with which one. Sorry, mistake. Uh, connections. So this color is connected with Cody, okay. for example. Uh, and these are the base stations. The base station mm -hmm. communicates with the server, with right. the the house, and the color communicates with the base station with Bluetooth. Okay. With low power Bluetooth. So mm -hmm. basically that has about uh, 300 feet, uh, it's high power Bluetooth, 300 feet range. And within the house. Now, let's and say this who, is, who's this guy? Or girl? This guy, this, this a girl. Okay. Her name is... Uh, Cookie. 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 That's Cookie, yeah. And what, did they, did you have tryouts or...? She's a, she's a dog, uh, she's a, my friend owns a Cookie, so okay. she, uh, you know, she helped us about the... <laughs> so she, got, the she got volunteered? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and it is available now for sale? No. It no. will be available in three months. Three months? It's three and a half years we're building this. Why so long? Because it started, it was big like this. Right. Because the components weren't available. Right. And uh, every three, four months, components were sure. smaller and smaller and smaller. And we arrived to a point where this can be, you know, like six months ago, all the components were available. Like small GPS, uh, small GSM. Et cetera, et cetera. small memories, everything now it's available. You have to fit all these sensors and the battery too long into that small size. Right. So you have to wait for the advancement of technology. Certainly.
uh, yeah, I mean, they don't release information from Area 51 every day. You have to wait till they decide. Yeah. When we started, the color was like from here, was thick from here up to here. Right. Uh, and the batteries couldn't fit, uh, many things couldn't fit. So Fantastic. I said, you know, we're not ready to release that. I need something like thin, and that was the thinnest thing. And did you have an unfortunate circumstance with a dog that motivated you to do yeah. this? Yeah. Is it too sad to tell? Yeah, actually I had a dog like, like this one, a Maltese. And, right. Uh, I was traveling too much, so I wanted to see how he's feeling, if he was comfortable, if something was going wrong. Sure. So. In the middle of the development, my dog unfortunately died from a, uh, from a biting attack from another dog. Oh, so, that, right. but it, so it, Kion wouldn't have saved it. Um, yeah, the pacifier actually. Yeah. If you had the pacifier right. inactivated, then the ultrasound buzzer could, you know, protect Charlie. Yeah, it, it's an annoying sound for the surrounding dogs yeah. as well. Right. Thinking, hey, what's going on? So they can stop fighting and attacking the other dog. Yeah. Well, what would have triggered that sensor? So, that's, it's, it's a very good question, very good question. Uh, I ask fire. because we live in an area yeah. with a lot of open space, yeah. but there's danger, like snakes right. and stuff. And we've had neighbors and friends whose dogs have gotten snake bites and yeah. didn't find out till way too late. The, the snakes, we can't protect from the snakes, but... For but wouldn't their temperature go up, or...? No. No? Uh, from large dogs, you could be protected because there's a sound. When, when, you, when you get your dog out for a walk, you enable that feature, and then the, the buzzer is creating a noise that is uh, uncomfortable noise for your dog and the other dogs. So, so it's like a force field as opposed correct, to it. It, it, it isn't it's, triggered. It's yeah, and you activate it through your phone. Actually, okay. From here, let me show you. You just click here, and it says peace. Peace. Right. Oh, my ears. Oh. Yeah. yeah. No, you don't, you don't hear that. Oh, I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's ultrasound. <laughs> he figured it out. <laughs> okay, uh, so if people want to learn more about this, because it's coming out in three months, where do they go? Kion Trucker. K Y O N Trucker.com. Trucker or Tracker? Track. Tracker. Tracker. Yeah, if that's okay. in there, you're going to see it. <laughs> oh, well, we. There you go. Okay. Kion Tracker.com. Fantastic. Thank well, you. well, thank you so much and thank have you. a good CES. Thank you.